Hello everyone. Welcome to this KTHM e-learning channel. In this lecture, we are going to discuss divergence of vector in various curvilinear coordinate system. That is, we are going to obtain expression for divergence in Cartesian coordinate system, in spherical polar coordinate system, in cylindrical coordinate system, and in general curvilinear coordinate system. Let us start. In previous lecture, we have learned gradient operation. When the vector differential operator del operates on scalar function, the resultant is a vector. The resultant is a vector, which is called gradient of scalar function. This del psi is called gradient of scalar function. Then this gradient vector del psi gives the direction and rate of fastest increase. The direction of the gradient is the direction in which the function increases most quickly from point P. And the magnitude of the gradient is the rate of increase in that direction. In this way, this gradient del psi gives the direction in which there is a maximum change in scalar function and the magnitude of the change. In this lecture, we are going to study the operation divergence. When we take dot product of vector differential operator del with a vector function, that here a bar is a vector function, then dot product of this vector differential operator with vector function, then the resultant is a scalar field. The resultant is the scalar field. That divergence is a vector operator that operates on a vector field producing a scalar field. The divergence of vector function a bar, the divergence of vector function a bar is denoted by del dot a bar, where del is a vector differential operator. The notation DV, DIVA, that is, this is read as divergence A, is also commonly used to represent the divergence. Then the physical significance of divergence. The physical significance of divergence of a vector field is a rate at which density exists a given region of space. Density exists the given region of space. Here density represents amount of vector field per unit volume. This density represents amount of vector field per unit volume. Therefore, the amount of vector field per unit volume that exists in a given region represents the divergence. In other words, the net flux of content, net flux of content passing through a surface surrounding the region of a space is divergent. That is, if we consider a particular region, if we consider a particular region of space which is bounded by a surface, if that region is bounded by surface, then net flux of the vector field, net flux of vector field passing through that surface is divergence of that vector field. A point at which the net flux is outgoing has positive divergence and that region is source of the field. A point at which the net flux is directed inward has negative divergence and that region is sink of the field. The magnitude of flux of the field through a small surface enclosing a given point gives the magnitude of divergence at that point. That is, if we consider a small volume around the given point, if we consider a small volume around the given point bounded by a surface, bounded by a surface, then magnitude of the flux of vector field through that surface use the magnitude of divergence at that point. 
if in the enclosing surface inward flux is equal to outward flux if in the enclosing surface inward flux is equal to outward flux then net flux is zero net flux is zero then that point has zero divergence that point has zero divergence let us clear this concept with few examples first example in space the velocity of the air at each point defines a vector field then consider a region of space if in a region of space the air is heated if in that region the air is heated then the air in that region expands expands and it goes outside the region then it expands in all direction and thus the velocity field point outward from that region so the divergence of velocity field in that region is positive but if in the same region air is cooled in that region air is cooled then air get contracts then it get contract in all direction then in that case the velocity field point inward in that region air contracts so the velocity field point inward in that region so divergence of the velocity field in that region is negative okay. divergence of velocity field in that region is negative second example divergence of electric field vector divergence of electric field vector consider the positive charge consider positive charge from positive charge electric field vector points outward from positive charge electric field vector points outward consider a spherical surface consider a spherical surface bounding this region around the charge consider spherical surface bounding this region around the charge then flux of electric field this arrows represent flux of electric field. then flux of electric field is outward through that surface then flux of electric field is outward through that surface therefore in this case divergence is positive in this case divergence is positive that del dot e bar is positive but if the charge is negative then electric field vectors point inward towards the charge electric field vectors are towards the charge then if we consider spherical surface then electric field is inward through that surface then in that case divergence is negative in that case divergence is negative if same spherical surface enclose positive charge and negative charge of same magnitude positive charge and negative charge of same magnitude then net amount of flux inward net amount of flux inward is equal to the amount of flux outward then magnitude of the flux inward is equal to magnitude of flux outward so the net flux outward is zero net flux outward is zero therefore in this case divergence is zero then dot e equal to zero now we are going to derive the expression for divergence in general curvilinear coordinate system for this consider this vector f bar the continuous vector function of coordinates u1 u2 u3 this u1 u2 u3 coordinates in general curvilinear coordinate let f bar is equal to f1 e1 cap plus f2 e2 cap plus f3 e3 cap where f1 e1 cap is the component of f bar along u1 curve f2 e2 cap is a component of f bar along u2 curve f3 e3 cap is component of f bar along u3 curve then del dot f bar then del dot f bar is equal to del dot f1 e1 cap plus f2 e2 cap plus f3 e3 cap 
which is equal to del dot f1 e1 cap plus del dot f2 e2 cap plus del dot f3 e3 cap. We have delta e1 is equal to e1 cap upon h1. In last lecture, we have derived these terms. If the scalar function psi varies only along u1 curve, if scalar function varies only along u1 curve, then in that case delta u1 is equal to e1 cap upon h1. If the scalar function varies only along u2 curve, then delta u2 is equal to e2 cap upon h3. And if this scalar function varies only along u3 curve, then the gradient of u3, that is delta u3, is equal to e3 cap upon h3. Then take cross product of these two terms, delta u2 cross delta u3. Substitute this e2 cap upon h2 cross e3 cap upon h3. Then e2 cross e3, e2 cross e3. These are perpendicular vector, e2 and e3 perpendicular vector. Therefore, the resultant to this resultant of this cross product is the perpendicular vector e1 cap. Therefore, e2 cross e3 is equal to e1 cap. Therefore, e1 cap is equal to h2 h3 into delta u2 cross delta u3. e1 cap is equal to h2 h3 delta u2 cross delta u3. Then the first term delta dot f1 e1 cap delta dot f1 e1 cap substitute e1 cap is equal to this h2 h3 delta u1 cross delta u3 therefore del dot in square bracket f1 h2 h3 delta u2 cross delta u3 then use this vector identity l dot is phi into a where phi is a scalar function and a is a vector function if phi is a scalar and a is a vector then divergence of product terms scalar and vector phi dot phi a divergence of this product phi a is equal to gradient of phi del phi dot this vector a plus scalar into divergence of a in this case this f1 h2 h3 is scalar this f1 h2 h3 is scalar and this delta u2 cross delta u3 cross product of two vector the resultant is a vector therefore this is vector therefore phi is equal to here this phi is f1 h2 h3 and a is delta u2 cross delta u3 therefore this gradient of scalar that is del gradient of f1 h2 h3 dot this vector is delta u2 cross delta u3 plus this phi scalar that is f1 h2 h3 into divergence of vector del dot this vector is u2 cross u3 but divergence of curl is zero divergence this delta u2 cross delta u3 is nothing but a curl therefore del dot this delta divergence of curl is zero. Therefore, this term becomes zero. This term becomes zero. Then we get the, the second term becomes zero because of this, because divergence of curl is zero. Therefore, del dot f1 e1 cap is equal to gradient of f1 h2 h3 dot delta u2 cross delta u3. But delta u2 cross delta u3 is equal to e1 cap upon h2 h3. This we have seen here. Delta u2 cross delta u3 is equal to e1 cap upon h2 h3. For this delta u2 cross delta u3 is equal to e1 cap upon h2 h3. Therefore, del dot f1 e1 cap is equal to e1 cap dot gradient of f1 h2 h3 upon h2 h3 this is the first term of f bar similarly the second term l dot f2 e2 cap is equal to we take 
cross product of delta u3 with delta u1 delta u3 cross delta u1 then e3 cross e1 is equal to e2 e3 cross e1 is equal to e2 therefore here e2 cap dot delta f2 h1 h3 upon h1 h3 this second term and the third term is del dot f3 e3 cap is equal to e3 cap dot gradient of f3 h1 h2 upon h1 h2 if we take the cross product of these two terms delta u1 cross delta u2 then e1 cross e2 is equal to e3 therefore this third term e3 cap dot in this way we have obtained these three terms then substitute these three terms in this equation here in this equation then we get del dot f bar so this del dot f bar is equal to, this is a first term then this second term and this is a third term the del operator is in previous lecture we have already obtained this gradient operator in general curvilinear coordinate system that del is equal to e1 cap upon h1 dabba by dabba u1 plus e2 cap upon h2 dabba by dabba u2 plus e3 cap upon h3 dabba by dabba u3 that del operator we have to use here in these three terms substitute here del is equal to this here also del is equal to this operator and here also this del is equal to this expression then we get substituting this del here this square bracket is a del operator then simplify here simplify this expression then we get nine terms first term is e1 cap dot e1 cap second term e1 cap dot e2 cap third term is e1 cap dot e3 cap fourth is e2 dot e1 fifth is e2 dot e2 sixth is e2 dot e3 then seventh term is e3 dot e1 then e3 dot e2 then e3 dot e3 then we get these nine terms that del dot f bar is equal to this nine terms if we observe here in the first term e1 cap dot e1 cap when we take dot product of vector with itself then its resultant is 1 that e1 cap dot e1 cap is equal to 1 similarly in this term e2 cap dot e2 cap is equal to 1 here e3 cap dot e3 cap is equal to 1 but e1 cap dot e2 cap these are perpendicular vector e1 e2 perpendicular vector therefore angle is 90 degree then cos 90 is equal to 0 therefore e1 cap dot e1 cap 0 similarly e1 and e3 perpendicular therefore e1 cap dot e3 cap 0 then e2 cap dot e1 cap also 0 e2 cap dot e3 cap also 0 e3 cap dot e1 cap 0 e3 cap dot e2 cap 0 in this way these six terms is 1 2 3 4 5 6 these six terms vanishes this become 0 then the remaining term 1 2 3 therefore del dot f bar is equal to del dot f bar is equal to 1 this is 1 upon h1 h2 h3 dabba by dabba u1 of f1 h2 h3 this first term then e2 cap dot e2 cap 1 1 upon h1 h2 h3 dabba by dabba u1 of f2 h1 h2 h3 uh, h1 h3 h1 h3 1 upon h1 h2 then from this term e3 cap dot e3 cap 1 is 1 upon h1 h2 h3 dabba by dabba u3 of f3 h1 h2 this way this del dot f bar then if take 1 upon h1 h2 h3 common from all three terms then del dot f bar is equal to 1 upon h1 h2 h3 dabba by dabba u1 of f1 h2 h3 plus dabba by dabba u2 of f2 h1 h3 plus dabba by dabba u3 of f3 h1 h2 
this is the expression for divergence of vector divergence of vector that is dot f bar this is the expression for divergence of vector in general orthogonal curvilinear coordinate system let us derive divergence in cartesian coordinate system in cartesian coordinate system the three coordinates are x y z therefore u1 is equal to x u2 is equal to y u3 is equal to z and the three scale factors h1 is equal to 1 h2 is equal to 1 h3 is equal to 1 and let f1 is equal to fx the component of f bar along x axis is fx component of f along y axis is fy and component of f along z axis is fz therefore substitute f1 is equal to fx f2 is equal to fy f3 is equal to fz h1 h2 h2 h3 1 u1 is equal to x u2 is equal to y and u3 is equal to z then we get l dot f bar is equal to l dot f bar is equal to dava fx by dava x plus dava fy by dava y plus dava fz by dava z this fx is a component along x axis fy is a component along y axis and fz is component along z axis the another way of obtaining the expression l dot f bar is equal to. in cartesian coordinate system del operator is this gradient operator or del operator is i dava by dava x plus j dava by dava y plus k dava by dava z this i j k are unit vector along x y z axis respectively and the vector f bar in cartesian coordinates is i cap fx plus j cap fy plus k cap fz if we solve this dot product then i dot i1 i dot j0 i dot k0 j dot i0 j dot j1 j dot k0 k dot i0 k dot j0 and k dot k1 then we get l dot f bar is equal to dava fx by dava x plus dava fy by dava y plus dava fz by dava z this is the expression for a divergence in cartesian coordinate system next is divergence in cylindrical coordinate system in cylindrical coordinate system the coordinates are rho phi z therefore u1 is equal to rho u2 is equal to phi u3 is equal to z and as we have already seen the three scale factors 1 rho and 1 so for h1 is equal to 1 h2 is equal to rho and h3 is equal to 1 and the component of f bar along rho axis is f rho component of f bar along phi axis is f phi and component of f along z curve is fz fz then substitute this f1 is equal to f rho f2 is equal to f phi and f3 is equal to fz h1 is equal to 1 h2 is equal to rho and h3 is equal to 1 therefore 1 upon rho this is 1 upon rho here u1 is equal to rho therefore dava by dava rho dava by dava rho therefore del dot f bar is equal to 1 upon rho dava by dava rho of h2 is rho and h3 is 1 and this is f rho therefore dava by dava rho of rho f rho u2 is phi therefore dava by dava phi h1 is 1 h3 is 1 and f2 is equal to f by therefore dava phi by dava phi plus u3 is z therefore dava by dava z h1 is 1 h2 is rho therefore this is rho and f3 is equal to fz therefore dava by dava z of rho z this is the expression for divergence in cylindrical coordinate system let us derive expression for divergence in spherical polar coordinate system in spherical or polar coordinate system the coordinates are r theta phi therefore u1 is equal to r u2 is equal to theta u3 is equal to phi 
and the scale factors h1 is equal to 1 h2 is equal to r and h3 is equal to r sin theta this we are already obtained in last lecture the components of f bar along r core is f r along theta core f theta and along phi core f phi substitute this value in this expression then one is h1 is 1 h2 is r h3 is r sin theta so this r square sin theta 1 upon r square sin theta u1 is r therefore dabba by dabba r h2 is r h3 is r sin theta therefore this r square sin theta and f1 is equal to fr u2 is theta therefore dabba by dabba theta then h1 is 1 and h3 is r sin theta therefore this r sin theta and f2 is equal to f theta therefore dabba by dabba theta of r sin theta f theta plus dabba by dabba u3 u3 is phi dabba by dabba phi h1 is equal to 1 h2 is equal to r therefore this r f3 is equal to f phi then 1 upon r square sin theta this theta is constant with respect to r this sin theta is constant with respect to r therefore take this out of this partial derivative then sin theta dabba by dabba r of r square f r plus r dabba by dabba theta of sin theta f theta this r is constant with respect to theta therefore it is taken outside this derivative that r dabba by dabba theta of sin theta f theta plus r is constant with respect to phi therefore it is taken outside the derivative r dabba by dabba phi of f phi if we multiply throughout by this r sin theta r sin theta if we multiply this one upon r square sin theta first term then we get one upon r square dabba by dabba r of r square f r plus this one of the r get cancelled one upon r sin theta dabba by dabba theta of sin theta f theta plus this one of the r get cancelled one upon r sin theta dabba by dabba phi of f phi this is the expression for divergence or we may take one upon r sin theta common if we take one upon r sin theta common from last two terms then del dot f bar is equal to one upon r square dabba by dabba r of r square f r plus one upon r sin theta dabba by dabba theta of sin theta f theta plus dabba by dabba phi of f phi this is the expression for divergence in spherical polar coordinate system this way in this lecture we have seen what is divergence then we have obtained the expression for divergence in general curvilinear coordinate system in cartesian coordinate system in cylindrical coordinate system and in spherical polar coordinate system in next lecture we will see curl operation that's all thank you